Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another ice fishing video. And if you're seeing this, that's a good thing. That can either mean we either got a big lake trout or we got several lake trout or we got some wild action. I did something stupid or jumped around down the hole, whatever the case is. I got to complain for two seconds. I went to go fill up propane yesterday because it's finally winter again. It's minus 20 today. And my propane barrel was expired. And I'm like, all right, sure. Just get me a new one. $100, $100 for a propane tank. I'm just trying to stay warm while I do something that I love, which is ice fishing. It was $60 for the, just a blank metal freaking canister. And then another $30 to fill it up. And let me tell you, when I got that bill, I was like, oh, what? I was like, Ex excuse me, $100? They're like, yep. I'm like, all right, sure. Take my money. I didn't want it anyway. Propane prices aside, this is a redemption mission. If you saw the last Lake Trip video, I did not catch a lake trout. I did hook one and then I hooked another one. I lost it and I needed to come back to fulfill that empty void in my ice fishing skill set. Spencer caught one on my bait. Aussie caught one on my bait. And now today I'm all by myself. I got two holes to myself and we're back. Hopefully going to get a big trout, if not just a couple trout. So I'm going to show you what we're using right now. We're going to get down. It is 8.15 in the morning. I woke up at 5, got out here super early. Got the tent all set up. This SMO 650 is perfect for one, two, three, four, five people. And I'm looking forward to having a day. So if you made it this far, just let me go down, click that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Helps grow the channel and I'll put a smile on my face. So yeah, let's dive on in. Okay, to start things off here, I'm gonna use the bait that I lost last time to a big fish and caught most of the fish. And that is a rattle bait. This is a Element Custom Baits, 60 millimeter, sexy as shad. The only thing I do is I swap out the treble hooks to Ichikawa's a little bigger for a little more oomph. And I think the issue last time is my uh, rookie lake trout butt is I was only using eight pound fluoro as a leader. Well, we have upgraded. We got 20 pound fluoro, 30 pound braid. I took a summer reel off, put it on the rod. I'm like, we're going and we're gonna do this right this time. And for the second rod, we have a Smeltonator with a four inch Rapala Crush City paddle tail. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use is what I hear. So. We're gonna drop these bad boys down. We're fishing a little flat. It comes to like 30 feet at the top and then dips down about 45, 50. We're just on that bottom end, not using any dead bait or anything today. Just two rods in the tent. Let's get after it. First drop, right hole with the rattle bait. Drop her down. See me dropping down in the middle of the water column. Should make sure I have my drag set too. When I hook set today, it's gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna be ripping some lips. Ooh, gosh. Oh, that rattle bait feels so good. I'm gonna to try to, for most of the day, to have one bait, you know, five, six feet off bottom and one a little bit more in the middle of the water column. If I see a fish that slides off this flat right here, I'm gonna reel up to that 30 foot mark and hopefully entice it to come. Oh my gosh, as I was dropping down, we're hooked up at the hook i was dropping my other bait down and i saw something shoot up and that loosen the drag i have no idea how big it is oh could be good could be good oh the only issue is i do have my other line here oh this is exotic reel this up as fast as i can it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh my gosh. This is on the plastic too. Oh, it went for a run. Oh my gosh. Should have been. Oh, we got our first trout. Woo! -hoo! That is what I'm talking about. That is what we came here for. Woo, that's a matter of like one minute. Hooked it right in the corner there. We got a measuring board right here to figure out how big this bad boy is 25 and a half inch lake trout. Oh, didn't take long at all. It's going right back. We're catching and releasing today. Nice. Wow. I don't know what to tell you there, folks. That was fast. Incredible. I turned the camera off to readjust where it was. And as the bait was dropping, I saw a line shoot around and uh, smoked me. There it is. Okay. Woo. Let's get another one. Could be one. Close to the bottom here. It's a little darty. Could be lake trout material. Looks like there's 
one over there. I'm just going to try ripping this rattle bait a lot. And if I get him to come close, I'm just going to keep reeling it up to force him to swim fast. Definitely help with the whole setting the hook situation. I'm going to drop it down. Right to bottom. Oh, there's one coming from underneath. I'm going to reel, reel, reel. Oh, it's pretty slow. I'm going to drop it back to him. That one I was looking at was the one underneath, but he could eat this on the way down. It does happen often. Oh, there's one coming off the left. Right across. Oh, he sees it. Swimming faster. He might go for this plastic too. I hope he goes for the rattle bait. Came right off. Oh, he sees it. I'm going to just keep reeling up. He's going to come and hopefully smoke it. Oh, we might see that plastic now. I'm going to drop it right past him. They love when you move the bait. See, so he's chasing it down, chasing it down. Oh. Gonna reel back up. Still down there. Drop it right down to him. Oh, I kind of spooked him. Oh, there's another one that came for me. Oh, there you go. Gonna reel, reel, reel. Oh, there we go. Small one. Oh, that was a different one that came up. Yeah, we got a small one. Oh, and the bait popped out of its mouth. Relax, bud, relax. We're, we're, you're going, you're being released. You're gonna be released. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Relax, 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 relax. There it is. Little, uh, 18 incher. Still fun. Oh, oh, there's one going after this bait now too. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. There's definitely some fish in the area. I'm gonna drop this bait down and pull back up. Let it sit there for two seconds. Get this rattle bait back down. Oh my. And last time when I was out here, I didn't think I was hook setting the fish hard enough. So you, you see me absolutely cranking on some fish today. Just trying to make sure that hook is in. Lake trout have really tough jaws and really bony like mouths. So you gotta make sure you put enough pressure on it to get that hook in there. Especially in Manitoba because it's barbless, right? So another one skirting in on bottom. Actually, he's about 10 feet off. Oh, he's swimming fast now. All right. Come on. Come on. Just going to keep reeling it up slow. Drop it past him. Maybe he'll crush it on the way down. Reel it up. He's coming for it. Play keep away. Just going to go right past him. Oh, it doesn't look, it looks like a little bit bigger one than the other ones. Come on. Try on this bait, maybe. Wow. That's sad. In case y'all are wondering, this is what the setup looks like. We got some mats from Mama and Papa for Christmas. Thank you, parents. Camera stuff. Little cooker over there. Heater. Little propane. Boom. It's all it takes to have some fun, I guess. And there's a fish on my screen and I'm talking to the camera, as usual. All right, first step of cooking weenies is get some weenies. Weenies, check. Second thing, some sort of cooking device that is not covered in ice, so we're going to bang that off. Then take said cooking device and put some slush in it. So we're gonna boil the weenies. Make sure you have a usable cooking device, such as a little one pound propane tank and little cooker top like so. This thing is fantastic. We've had it for like 10 years and has never let us down. Knock on wood, it doesn't let me down right now. Turn on said weenie cooker, your propane. Make sure you have a working lighter. And it is on. Put device on top. Make sure it is somewhat stable. Wait for slush to melt and then add weenies and you will be 
a happy camper. Nothing going on, nothing going on. And gently put weenies in the cooker. Like that, and make sure you throw out your garbage. We're gonna put those in there, and we will either see you when these things are ready to be eaten, or hopefully, better see you when we get another fish. Oh, I moved, moved this bait. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. Oh, there's two. You might hit me again. Oh my gosh. Cooking the weenies. We had a couple of trout that came up. Oh. Oh, sees one underneath me on this rod. Come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. Got him. Doesn't feel big. Oh. Well, they never feel big at the beginning. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's actually a good one. Nice. Oh my gosh, the bait came out again. You guys saw how hard I set that hook and that bait still popped out. That's why you gotta set them hard and keep them pinned. Quick measurements on this bad boy. Oh, whoa, come on, Choke, we're releasing you. That is a 21 incher. That is a 21 inch, beautiful Manitoba Lake Trout. Boom, going right back. Awesome. Cooking weenies, catching lake choke. Come on, he doesn't get any better than that. Oh, there's one underneath this bait. Oh my gosh, it had it in its mouth. I didn't set the hook. I know what to do with my left hand. He should eat again. I didn't sting him or anything. Oh, he's under this one now. Oh, oh, he tapped that one too. Oh, and he came off that ledge again. I saw, oh, there's, coming after this one. Oh my gosh, that's a better one, I think. Come on, yeah, eat, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you gotta choose one, bud. That's a better one. Oh my gosh, eat the rattle bait. Drop it down. Come on. He's swimming down just to the right of it. Oh. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a good lake trout. Oh my. Oh my, he didn't even hit me though. A smaller one came in, hit this one I had on my left hand while I was switching, so didn't get a hook set on him, didn't pinch, and he came in and hit this one, but didn't actually have it in his mouth. Oh, that's a big fish though. Oh man, he was chasing. It's time for the weenie test. Cooked, so that's a good thing. Mmm. Delicious. I think it's maple bacon, so can't really go wrong with either of those. Bubble to calm the nerves, you know. I used to hate these things, but no. They're delicious. Pretty slow the last hour. I think you've only marked one fish. So take what you will with that information. And see where it goes. 22 feet away. Twenty feet away. Nose again at 18 feet now. I've brought my second bait all the way up to the top. 16. 14. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, he swam so fast at it. What the heck? Where is he? Oh no. Oh my gosh, what a big fish. What a big fish. Oh, he's turning. Is he? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he swam so fast at it. Oh, he looks like he's coming back again. He's gonna keep pulling it up slowly. Oh, can't see where he is. Oh, there he is. 
Drop it down to him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He launched in at me. Come on, fish, give me a chance. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is over there. Oh my gosh, I thought we were gonna do it. I thought, I thought that was it. He flew at the bait. Oh. Oh, that is so depressing. There he is, swimming away. All the way over there. I got caught scoping around again. Right after I changed up to a little uh, plastic and I got to tiny trout. Wow. That one came literally out of nowhere. Just a little guy. And he inhaled that little smeltinator and Crush City plastic. He's going back. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, he didn't resist that one at all. He was smaller. It's 220 right now. I'm not going to give it too much longer. Probably another half an hour or so. I wanted to get one more fish. And I just got that one. It's a little bit smaller, but <clears throat> I had now four fish come up to that rattle bait and not eat. So I changed up to a 3 8 3 aught smeltinator with a Crush City, the Jerk plastic, which I'll put up here somewhere to show you. A little more finesse bait, kind of just imitating like little Cisco's. Um, I had that one giant mark come in and cover 30 feet in like two seconds on the rattle bait, and I thought, boom, this is it. This is going to be my PV Lake Trout, and it did not eat. So that was the final straw that made me decide to change over to this little more soft bait presentation, but I've just been kind of scoping around, turning, looking to see if I can at least get ready. If I see something coming in 30, 40 feet away, then I can kind of brace myself, make sure the camera's rolling and everything, but probably going to pack up at three and head her back home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to wrap up today's adventure out here fishing for lake trout. I got my redemption at the end of the day. I caught some fish. I think I had five in total. Saw a couple big ones that wouldn't commit. Sucks, but... That's going to get me coming back and hopefully able to do this again sometime soon. The wind's picking up the crazy outside, so I'm going to start packing up. I'm solo today, so I want to make sure I'm back to my truck before sunset. Safety always first. And last but not least, if you guys are new here and you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all future content. We've still got a lot of ice fishing left. There'll be a lot of videos coming out soon. So thanks for tuning in. We will see you guys on the next video.